Here's an example using the AIC3254 and a third-party algorithm from SRS, which tremendously enhances the audio signal. Let me add an additional digital filter at the output of the SRS component to demonstrate how easy it is to change a signal process flow. First, I'm going to delete the connection between the SRS component and the interpolator. Then I add two instances of the multi bike watt component. Then I link um, the two bike watt components so that they operate with the same parameters. I connect the output of the SRS component to the input of the bike watts and the output of the bike watts to the input of the interpolator. Now that the signal process flow is complete, we can have PurePath Studio compile and download the binary to an ESC3254 EVM to test the program. This is a seamless one-step process when using a TI EVM. Once the signal process flow is debugged and ready for an actual product, PurePath Studio provides the mini-DSP program in two formats. First, a command script file, and second, a C header file. Both files are available in the folder that stores the process flow. The command script file is a text file that contains write commands for registers within the audio codec. The format is described in the EVM documentation, which is available from the codec's product folder. It is intended for applications that require dynamic updates or changes of mini DSP programs where this file is stored in a local file system and, and interpreted by a host processor. The C header file is intended for applications that do not have a file system where it is simpler to just compile the mini DSP program into the application's firmware. It consists of static arrays containing the mini DSP program as well as coder configuration data. The host processor writes the data from the static arrays to the registers within the codec to configure and program the codec.